Hey guys. <laughs> so, um, I thought, you know, I was going to make lunch for everybody. Actually, this is going to be almost dinner, like late lunch dinner. And I know it's the holidays and I know you guys are probably looking for ham and turkey and roast and just, you know, different holiday dishes and cookies and desserts, but I'm kind of doing something different. <laughs> um, let's make a tuna sandwich. Yeah, I'm gonna make some tuna. Uh, so if you like tuna, it's um, gonna be a pretty cheap dinner. I've got two cans of tuna, I've got some hungry people, and I thought it was a good way to just, I don't know, show you how I just jazz it up and use what I've got. So that's what we are going to do. So uh, yeah, let's make some, some tuna, <laughs> tuna salad, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I'm going to need some eggs. And yeah, you guys are just, I'm taking you with me. My smudgy fridge, going to get some. I'm going to get two eggs. Yeah. All right, let's do this. So here I have some water in a small pot. Two large eggs going in. And, oh no, no, wrong one. There we go. So I'm gonna, yeah, that's my kid. I'm gonna um, just boil these, make two hard boiled eggs, optional, but I like egg in my tuna salad, so. By the way, here I have some fresh parsley and dill and chives. I'm gonna add that to my tuna salad. And I've already, um, I've already kind of trimmed some, so I'm, that's what I'm going to use. But, you know, take a look at this. These guys are growing pretty well. By the way, take a look at my little scallions growing. I'm excited. <laughs> Fresh herbs that I trimmed earlier. And let's see, I'm going to I'm gonna add all of this. I love fresh chives. That's actually one, my favorite herb. And this dill, I mean, it was time to trim it. So I'm using that. And then I have my parsley and I have my chives so yeah I might not use all the chives but you know half of them maybe so I'm just gonna I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up stuff I'm adding some fresh carrot and things like that and I'll be right back Oops. let's go back um, I also want to show you that I am going to be using some celery and fresh carrot I just took chunks like maybe a three inch piece from the carrot and the celery and I'm gonna just pulse it in the food processor and chop it. There you go. Finely chopped carrot and celery. Okay so my eggs are still boiling but I already basically finely chopped some celery and carrot I have a little bit of lemon zest, freshly chopped dill, chopped parsley, and chopped fresh chives. To that, I'm also going to add some pepper. I like cracked black pepper in this. <clears throat> and I'm going to add probably, oh gosh, we like things kind of creamy. Maybe three to four tablespoons of mayo. Yeah, something like that. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of paprika. A little shake, that's enough. So now I'm just going to mix this. And this is going to be pretty much the, the dressing for my, my tuna salad. There's so many things you could add to tuna salad, really and truly. You want things spicy. So I think that's good. Okay. So that's kind of orangey and cream together, so that'll be my dressing. Okay, so I've already added my two cans of tuna in this separate bowl, and because it kind of comes com compacted, 
I'm just going to break it apart in this bowl, then I will add it to my dressing. And my eggs are actually done. I'm going to peel them, give them a, a chop, and fold it right into my tuna and dressing mixture. And that should be it. And the tuna does contain sodium. The mayo that I used obviously is seasoned and with sodium, so I'm not going to add any salt to this. I think it's fine, but, you know, you just want to season your tuna salad the way you like. Okay, so that looks good. Just gonna put that right in there. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it is two cans of tuna. Or you could just use one large can of tuna, but this is just two regular cans of tuna. And it came in water, so I just drained the water. Okay, eggs are cut, I'm gonna fold them in. By the way, a lot of these ingredients are just optional. If you don't like fresh herbs, don't add it. If you are not a fan of egg in your tuna salad, do not add it. <laughs> Sometimes it's just tuna and mayo with a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's what I do. Sometimes I like to add dill pickles or relish, a little bit of minced onion. It just, I don't know, it depends on the mood that we are in or who I'm feeding. Okay, you guys, tuna salad. Ready to go for some sandwiches. Um, and it smells very good with these fresh herbs. I really think dill, lemon zest, chives, parsley, it just, they are all a match made in heaven. So here we go. Okay, so let's make some, uh, a, a tuna salad sandwich. So I have two pieces of white bread. You could use wheat. And what I like to do on one side is actually layer fresh cucumber. And this is a an English cucumber, a hothouse cucumber, you know, one of those. And I just, you know, peel it, slice it thinly. And I'm just going to layer it on the bread. It adds texture. It adds just a freshness to the sandwich. And, you know, we like it. This is sort of the, um, kind of takes the place of like, maybe if you like pickles, you know, you're trying to cut back on sodium <laughs> or you uh, know you want to eat some potato chips and you know you're like well I gotta cut the sodium somewhere well try some fresh cucumber so layer it with cucumber and let me get closer here okay so cucumber now I'm gonna go in right here with my salad and I'll do a couple of hefty spoons And then you're just going to sort of spread it to the to the sides of the bread. This is actually dinner, you guys. I was like, late lunch? No, nope. by the time I finished making all this, it's pretty much dinner time, an early dinner. So there we go. Now, I'm going to take some of my, um, I have some Boston lettuce leaves that I put through my little salad spinner. And you know, that's that. I'm just going to, uh, again, add that to my sandwich. Oops, I know, I know. <laughs> my kid, he's hungry. So there we go, lettuce, cucumber, my tuna salad. My sandwich is done, so now I'm going to take just a little olive, <laughs> put it right there, just like that, and this, is a tuna salad sandwich and my kids crying <laughs> okay <laughs> tuna salad sandwich right here dinner um, this is my husband's sandwich actually um, but he's gonna have it with like his chips and let's be honest he'll probably eat it with like pickled radish he loves that stuff but I gotta tell you uh, am I in focus so here we go. His tuna sandwich is ready. Um, 
I'm actually going to try some of the tuna salad. Let's see. I actually like to eat it with fresh cucumber or, you know, with some of the Boston lettuce. Good stuff. Mm. So that is amazing. Um, I certainly hope you guys, um, I don't know, got an idea for some tuna salad sandwiches. Um, really simple. And that's kind of what I do when, you know, I just don't want to make an elaborate meal. I'm like, you know what? Canned tuna. Let's see how we can jazz it up. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Well, Hope you're having a good day, and uh, thanks for joining me for this uh, video. Is it considered a cook with me video? I don't know, uh, but tuna salad sandwiches, pretty good. So, all right, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.